Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2017 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Demco Diode Wiring Kit for towed vehicles. So there is going to be two different kits available. Um, the one we have here has a six-way round connector and a cable that allows you to plug into the seven-way in the back of your motorhome. The other kit uh, doesn't come with this cable or the connector, it just has a four-way flat type connector so if your motorhome has a four-way flat uh, you're able to just plug that right in. So there's going to be a total of five main components needed to flat tow your Wrangler down the road safely. First one's going to be the base plate and that's going to provide us with a solid and reliable connection point that way we can hook our tow bar up to it. So the tow bar here is going to be your second main component. This is going to be the physical link that actually connects the front of your Jeep to the back of your motorhome. The third main component is going to be safety cables. And these are going to be there in the event of an unlikely disconnect. These are going to keep your Jeep connected to your motorhome. The fourth main component is going to be tow bar wiring. And this wiring, what it's going to do is transfer the lighting functions from the back of your RV to the back of your Wrangler, uh, keeping you safe and legal. And last but not least, our fifth main component is going to be a braking system. And what that's going to do is apply the brakes in your Wrangler whenever you hit the brakes in your motorhome, helping to bring you to a more predictable and safe stop. So this is a perfect example on how our wiring is going to work. As you can see, we have the left turn signal going on our motorhome, and it's transferring it back here to the Jeep. But you're also going to get your right turn, your brake lights, and your running lights. So you'll have all your bases covered there. Now, when it comes to tow bar wiring, a diode wiring kit like this is definitely the way to go, in my opinion. Um, once you have it installed, you're not going to be able to see it, and it's going to be super easy to use, which is really important. You don't want to spend a bunch of time messing around, setting everything up uh, when you're trying to hit the road or enjoy yourself. With this one, all you're going to have to do is plug in a connector at the front of your Jeep to the back of your motorhome. <clears throat> That's really all there is to it. In comparison to some of the other kits like magnetic lighting for example uh, those are going to require you to set them up and remove them every single time so you're going to have to find a spot to uh, put your lights take the wiring drape it all the way uh, over your jeep to the front of it and set it up every time and then not to mention when you uh, are ready to disconnect you're going to have to take that big bundle of wire and find somewhere to store it so a uh, setup like this definitely makes life a little bit easier this kit also uses diodes, and what those are going to do is protect your Jeep's factory wiring if a short or some type of an electrical issue were to happen. So uh, pretty important, especially today's newer vehicles, they have uh, really sophisticated electronic systems. Everything's kind of tied in uh, to everything else. So definitely don't want to do anything to jeopardize that and since we have those diodes in place it's something we're not going to have to worry about so at the end of the day um, if you're going to be flat towing quite a bit definitely the way to go super easy to use one thing i do like uh, in comparison to some other kits is a connector uh, if you opt for this kit here that comes with the cable and the connector the connector itself is made from aluminum uh, typically they're made from plastic so I feel like that aluminum will just hold up better but overall the kit feels really nice all the wiring is uh, nice and thick uh, and everything's just well made um, as far as the installation goes really not too bad there's it's not really super complicated it's just kind of time consuming you know having to route all the wires and everything else but as long as you stay focused shouldn't really give you a whole lot of issues Speaking of which, let's go ahead and pull into the shop and do that together now. To begin our installation, we're gonna be here at the front of our Jeep and I took our bundle of wire and just took one end of it and ran it up through our mounting bracket. Now, if you're gonna be using the kit that has just this four-way end, all you're gonna to have to do is mount it up, up, up here at the front and route your wiring back. In our case, we're putting on the six-way connector plug so what we're going to have to do is cut our four-way flat connector off so I'll grab a pair of snips cut it back as close as we can give us all that wiring once that's removed 
we can strip back the insulation from each one of the wires. Once we have these stripped, you can grab the dust cover, slide that over, and just kind of push it out of the way for now. Then I'm going to twist each one of these wires nice and tight. That'll help ensure a good connection. And then we can move on and grab our connector plug here. So the way this is going to work, the terminals are going to be labeled. And they're going to have set screws in them that we need to loosen up. So for example, we'll start with this one here. That's labeled TM for tail light, so our brown wire will go to it. This one here is GD for ground. White wire will go there. This one's LT for left turn, so our yellow wire will go to that. And this one here is labeled RT for right turn, so our green wire will go there. So you take the flathead screwdriver, back out the set screws a little bit. And what you're going to do is take the corresponding wire. So we're going to start with the tail lights. So it'll be the brown wire. That will just get put into the terminal. If the wire sticks out a little bit. If you cut them too long, what I like to do is just trim it. I like the whole wire to be inside there. That way, don't create any weak spots or anything like that over time. So we'll pop that in there and tighten down our set screw. And I'll do the same process for our three remaining wires. So this is what the back of your connector plug is going to look like once you have the wires hooked up. And from there we can plug it or push it under a bracket. You want to make sure to take your rubber dust cover, slide that over the back of the plug, help keep it protected. And I'm just going to take some hardware here and secure the connector plug to our bracket. At this point, we can start to route our wiring towards the back of our Jeep. Um, since the braking system that this Jeep is getting uh, does require to be tapped into our diode wiring, I'm gonna run this up into the engine compartment to make that a little easier. So what I've done is just cut off the four-way flat connector uh, off the other end of our bundle of wire, drop down a fish wire, which I'm just using a piece of tubing, use a coat hanger, something like that, and drop it down from the engine compartment taped my wire to it. Now we can go up top and feed our wire up into that engine compartment. So now in the engine compartment, here's where our wiring came up. And then I just went around this edge, then across the firewall, just following this factory wire loom, all the way over to the other side. And right here, I dropped it straight down uh, to the bottom side of our Jeep. So here's where our wiring kind of comes down under our vehicle. And right here in this area, just kind of underneath of our front door, I took the white wire and cut it in half very carefully. This side that goes to the front of our connector plug, or the connector plug up front rather, I strip back the insulation and I'm going to take one of the included ring terminals. Slide that over the bare end of the wire and crimp it down. And this is gonna be a ground. So I got that attached. You wanna secure this to a metal portion of our vehicle. And so I think I'm just gonna go right here in this area. This steel's nice and thick. We use the included uh, self-tapping screw. So once that's secure, you want to take the remainder of your white wire and just strip that back off of the rest of the bundle. And you want to hold on to this portion of wire because we will be using it uh, here in a moment. So I continue to route our wiring. So right here is 
uh, where it comes over our frame rail from where we just attach that ground. So our wire is going to run along through here. And it's a little tricky to see, but it's kind of up on top of our frame rail almost. And when you're doing this, try your best to avoid any hot or moving parts. Um, as long as it's not right on top of the exhaust and you got some good space there, you'll be all right. Let's secure it along the way using some zip ties. I came up through here and up and over our uh, rear subframe. It comes all the way over and drops down here. So over here on the driver's side, what I did was kind of just pull our green wire off of the yellow and brown. And I took that white wire that we saved and just taped the end of it to our yellow and brown. From there, I took the other end of our white wire and our green wire and routed that over to the passenger side. So there's our green wire and our white wire. Just ran it along the back of our bumper beam here, up and over our frame rail. And we can go up top, get our tail lights removed. That way we can pull our wiring into position. So now here at the back of our Jeep, what we need to do is remove our tail lights. So to do that, these inside screws are gonna be some Phillips heads. We just need to pull those out. We should be able to grab our light, kind of maneuver it around, get it pulled out. And then what we're gonna do is just disconnect it, push down on that center tab, pull the two apart. And what we can do is just simply repeat the same process over on the other side. So I went ahead and just reached down, grabbed our wires and pulled them up into the tail light pocket, cut them to length because the wire was a little long. And then I stripped back uh, all the ends of the insulation there. Our yellow wire is gonna receive a spade connector here. So we'll slide that over and crimp it down. And what we're gonna do with the white and brown wire, we're actually gonna twist these together, nice and tight. This end here, we're gonna put that in one spade connector. Get that crimped. Then we can go ahead and grab our diodes and the side that has two labeled in, one of the spade terminals can go on one side. Yellow one will go another diode. And now we can kind of just let these hang for the time being. So I went ahead and identified our signals here from our factory wiring and what I found was that the tail light signal is going to be this white wire with the orange stripe and our stop and turn signal we're going to use this white wire with the green stripe so what we're going to do is cut those wires in half like so and each end, we're gonna grab our wire strippers, strip back the ends of the insulation, and then we can grab one of the red or purple uh, terminals there, slide that over the end, and crimp it down. So I'm gonna repeat that same process for our three remaining ends there. Now that we have the ends all crimped on, we can hook them up to our diodes. So we'll start with our stop and turn. So that'll be the diode that has a new yellow wire. And since the white and green factory wires control that, we're just gonna hook up 
one side to our diode terminal there. And the white and green wire that's closest to the plug, that's gonna go on the side that has one terminal labeled out. We'll plug that in and essentially do the same thing for our tail light signal. White and orange, closest to the plug, will go to out. And the white and orange on the other side will just get plugged into the last remaining terminal on our diode. So now that we have everything hooked up, go ahead and take our tail light, get that plugged back in. Then we can just take the tail light and reinstall it. Over here on the passenger side, I went ahead and hooked up our diodes pretty much the same exact way that we did the other side. The only difference is going to be the color of factory wire. So the white wire with a yellow stripe, that's gonna be our stop and turn. So your new green wire will get plugged into that. And the factory wire with the white with a purple stripe, that's gonna be your tail light signal. So the new white wire will get plugged into that diode. So once you have them hooked up, at this point, we'll just go ahead and take our light and get, get this reinstalled as well. So now that everything's hooked up, it's a good idea to test our wiring to make sure it's working properly. So I went ahead and plugged into a tester box. Now you can use your motorhome, but keep in mind if you have any electrical issues going on there, uh, this could give you a false reading. So I suggest using a box. That being said, we'll turn on our tail lights, our left turn signal, our right turn signal, and our brakes. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Demco Diode Wiring Kit for towed vehicles on our 2017 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited.